1948, by running a simple TV cable, Service Electric launched an entire industry. In the 56 years since, we've reached many milestones, like giving your life clarity and definition, connecting you to the world faster, and letting your voice be heard while never forgetting what got us here. Service Electric Cable and Communications, a clear vision for the future. Welcome to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. Well, we'll switch gears over to racing in the Big Diamond Speedway, which is located just outside Minersville, has gone through some major renovations this past offseason. A brand new grandstand, luxury suites, and a new layer of clay for a dust-free racing surface. The track was tested last night as a third of 13 races held this season by the traveling race of champions Dirt Modified Tour took to the redone three-eighths of a mile clay oval. We get to the action. 50 cars signed into the pit area last night for the $4,000 to win 75 lapper. Heat one would go to Big Diamond and Grandview dirt track legend Craig Von Doren in the white 1C. He would use an outside pass on lap four to take the eight lap first qualifier. Heat two goes to Dwayne Howard, a Big Diamond regular in the red number four. He would pass Joey Gramos on the, on the front stretch in the five. Heat three, a good one. Ray Swinehart in the 28 car would hold off a hard-charging the legend in the 42, sign of the times in the feature two guys. Heat four, Ryan Watt in the six, easily takes this one. We move to heat five, a lot of invaders from the New York State area. One of them in the 14J, AJ Slideways, Alan Johnson. He is the winner in the fifth qualifying heat, and heat six, would go to Billy the Kid Pouch from Frenchtown in the white and orange 357. He would pass Brian Weaver in the... Three consolations would set the 27-car field as well. Ryan Bartlett, and he wins by a wheel over Keith Hoffman of Whitehall. Billy Pouch Jr. would claim the last qualifying spot in the second heat race. Pouch Jr., of course, the son of Billy the Kid. He is in the orange 11D, uses a patented outside move coming down the front stretch to take the final qualifying spot in the second consolation, and Steve Botcher would easily win in the consolation number three. Jeff Ebersole in the 72 sits on the pole. He would be the early leader before making contact there with Danny Johnson. Swinehart and Howard would move into third and fourth. Von Dorn in the 1C got a great start early. He moves into fourth place here behind Ray Swinehart. On a lap six restart for Von Doren, that's when he would take the lead. Coming down the front stretch, he gets underneath Danny Johnson and underneath the 72 of Ebersole and takes the lead on lap six, heading down the back stretch. We would move to lap 18, where Jimmy Horton would make his move along with Billy Pouch. You see Pouch moving underneath the 27 of Johnson and Howard for the second spot, and then past Von Doren as Von Doren breaks going down the back stretch. Moving now to another restart coming up on lap 18. Here is Jimmy Horton setting his sights on the leader. Horton had a start way back in 18th. He slides underneath Pouch going into turns one and two. He takes over the lead. That's lap 27 where he goes down the back stretch, moves underneath the kid, and gets underneath the two dirt track legends would battle for a lap or two. Horton, though, would be in command until he would cut a tire on lap 63. Scary moment coming up here for the 9C of Colt Harris. He would make contact with Horton as Horton tries to make a, an exit into the pit area. Pouch would take over the lead from his second spot on the restart, would lead the last 12 laps, and would easily claim the $4,000 win. Well, once you get in a groove there, it ain't bad. I kind of just dug in on the bottom, kept the car straight, and tried to save the tires. I think tires were an issue tonight. We were real good early, and I knew that wasn't good because that usually means you're not good late. Never seems like it gets old for you. Nice little celebration there in victory lane. Everyone's sweet, you know? I mean, I've got over 600, but everyone's sweet, and I'm looking for 700.